My, my next player to watch, someone I'm feeling very optimistic about, and that's Jose Barrios. So Jose Barrios, we, we know the story. The Blue Jays traded for him at the trade deadline in 2021 because they were going for it. And uh, Barrios has been in Major League Baseball since 2016. Prior to coming to the Blue Jays, he was with the Minnesota Twins. Um, he, uh, he had a forgettable season in 2016, but that was several years ago. ERA was just over eight. Since then, you look at his numbers year by year by year, and this man has been very solid when he takes them out. Earn run average by year, 389 in 2017, 384 in 2018. 368 in 2019, and even four in 2020. But again, stats in 2020, they could be skewed a little bit either high or low because the season was only two months and, and it might had it played out for a full 162, you don't know, might have been a little better, might have been a little worse, never really know. And then in 2021, um, his ERA was 352. We don't really know what the heck happened to him in 2022. Everybody knows that he had a subpar season. I have kind of a different way of looking at his season than some people do. Um, when, when I look at his results game by game, I still say that the runs he allowed about two-thirds of the time that he went out there were pretty respectable, that, that he ended up minimizing the damage. He gave up a fair bit of hard contact, I know, um, but uh, yeah. He, he managed, whether it was some help from the defense or whatever, to be fairly su successful about two-thirds of the time. The other third of the time, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't know. When he was bad, he was very bad. He, he pitched on opening day and didn't make it out of the first inning. And that really skewed his numbers. His ERA for the season was 523. I haven't given up on Jose Barrios, not by a long shot. The Blue Jays signed him to a contract extension after 2021. He's going to be around. It was a seven-year deal. He's going to be around for another six years. And I refuse to believe that the next six years are going to be, oh, oh God, it's a Barrios start. Do I even have to watch? I think that next year he's going to return to form. Again, I don't really know what was going on. I don't want to start spreading a bunch of unconfirmed rumors. I've heard whispers here and there that maybe it wasn't a great season for him personally off the field. I don't know. And if that affected his game on, on the mound, I mean, he's a human being. One of the things I always say about baseball and about baseball players is they're not machines, they're humans. And if there's something going on in their lives, maybe it affects other areas of their life, such as their performance on the mound. So I wish Burrios all the best, nothing but luck. And uh, I think we're going to see a much better version this coming season and for the next few seasons. I I'm very hopeful about that.